Hello guys, let's see how to retrieve data from web API into a SQL Server team. Here is the sample web API that we are going to use for this demo. This returns a very simple JSON data. This JSON data have got three values in each set. Let me open SQL Server Manual Studio and show you what we are going to achieve from this web API returned data. Here I am selecting a table and you can see the data that is returned from the web API. Let me put both side by side and show you. You can see the data is same. Let me delete the table so that I can create it and show you the code that is required to achieve this. Here is the code. Let's go through it step by step. I am changing the context to test DB1. Let me refresh and see if the old table is gone so that the script will not fail while trying to create this table. This code is creating a temporary table to which we are going to temporarily store the web API written JSON data. Next couple of lines are just the declaration of the variable and the command. Here we are calling the web API using XPC Michel and storing the data inside the table. Let's run these commands first. Let's see what's inside this temporary table. It's the data from the web API. This means that the API returned the data and we need to convert that into a table format. Let's create this table in which we are going to store the final data. The next few lines of the code does the magic for you. Let's see what is inside the JSON variable. You can see all the data from the table is converted into a single row value. The work is not yet done. Let me copy the text into a new window and show you the whole output. This is same data from the web API. This is the same data as we see in the command prompt. Let's go back. Let's run the remaining code along with the last few lines as well. Now refresh the DB in Object Explorer. Select this table. Here you go. The data is in a table format. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe and comment for more videos like this.